Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I made this little booklet using a stamp brush in Procreate and some clipping masks. So let's get started. I'm going to clear the page so I can show you how I ended up with this. This is Nutshelf 2. I'm playing around in this different app. I usually work in GoodNotes. So in Nutshelf, if you click your eraser, you have a clear page button and that gives me my blank slate that I usually start with. We'll come back to this. I'm going to close this out, go into Procreate, click the plus sign and screen size just to give me a big canvas. I'm going to click the color that I want to start in, brushes, and I'm going to find the brush that is called Open Book Stamp. Okay, And with a stamp brush you tap and you get your stamp. I'm going to click my layers, click that layer, and mark it as a reference. So my other layers will be blank layers, but they'll use this book outline as a reference. So I'm going to add another layer. This layer too is blank. I'm going to move that blank layer below the reference outline. And now I'm going to fill in my colors. So I'm filling in a blank layer, but because the reference is an outline, it's coloring inside the lines for me. I'm going to add another blank layer, pick a different color, and I'm going to color inside of these lines. Okay. Now if you go crazy and fill in the wrong thing, no worries. Two finger tap undo, is undo. Okay. So there's my two different layers. Now you can click your layer, select the end, and lower the opacity right from here. Okay. Um, there's other ways to do that. I'm going to add another layer. And I'm going to fill the color here because I need a color on the page, otherwise later it will be transparent. So I want a very light color. I want a very light color here so I don't go transparent. That might be a little too dark, but we'll try it. It is too dark. For the masking step, I don't want to lower opacity because that will lower the opacity for the whole layer. I'm going to leave that all the way up. Instead on this one, I'm going to go to the magic wand and click Hue, Saturation, and Brightness. It gives me these options. And I'm just going to make that top layer lighter. There's a color there still. I just want it almost white. I still need a color. And I'll show you why here in a minute. I'm going to add another layer. And this is going to be my clipping mask. Okay, So that clipping mask has got a little arrow. will mask this that I've colored in in that off-white. Okay, Now in that layer I'm going to add a photo. Find it from where I have it stored. And you see because I've already set that as a clip that picture is a rectangle but it's going to live inside of that masked area. Okay. Now it's masked off across two pages. I only want the one, so I'm just going to back up here and just do one. Okay. Now I'm going to add another layer. I'm going to pick a darker color. Go back to my brushes. And this time I want page creators. This whole set came together. I want this brush that is called page lines. And I'm going to click my selector tool to select just this side of the book only. Make sure my paintbrush is set. Drawing some lines. Deselect. And now I have lines only in that selected area. Now once you pick up your brush, don't do it again. If you lay your brush down again, you'll end up with extra lines. So don't do that. Okay, one time.
time, don't pick up your brush. And now I'm going to go back to my layers and turn off the white background. Now you see I have a white page. If I had not put this color down, then this would go transparent. That's a problem if I'm laying it down on top of the planner. Now let me show you. I'm going to go to the wrench tool, share, save as a PNG, save image, puts it into my camera roll. There's my journal, add, photo, going to be the last one I just saved. If this was transparent, I would see the dots behind, but I don't want it transparent. I want it lined paper with a page color. Okay, and that's all there is. That is all there is to making a brush stamp booklet. All right, so the rest is just simply stickers. So I'm going to bring. Oops. I'm just going to bring my stickers side by side. I'm going to go to my albums for planner stuff where I keep all my planner things. Drag and drop my stickers. Tap and edit. And you default into rectangle mode. Click done. Size and drop, scissor tool to copy and paste. Okay. Drop that. Pick up that same sticker, tap and edit. sticker again, tap and edit. Now if you notice that the box is not skinny enough for what you need to crop, then simply don't do that. Use the scissor tool instead to cut it out and you get a much closer crop. Okay. Again, tap and edit. Again with the scissors because I want a small one. Okay, I'm going to move on to another sticker. Tap and edit back in my rectangle mode. You'll notice that you can move this box this way as well. It takes some getting used to as with any app, but um, I'm liking this one. Now with this you also have a, an eraser tool. So once I've got it cropped, if I see I messed up a little, you can take this little eraser and just take out what you don't want. You can also take out in here if you really wanted to. I'm going to undo that, call that done, and drop that into place. Pick up one of these, tap and edit. Okay, that's it for my stickers. I'm going to use my text tool. Tap. I want this box smaller. February 21. Now I can select all of this text and change my fonts. You can click this paintbrush and it will give you a preview of what you've got selected. So all of my purchase fonts are here. 
Okay, it shows you a preview of the size. So you can guesstimate what you want to look like and you can change your color from here. Okay. If you click a heart, it adds it to your favorites. Okay. And those favorites lists are listed here, the same ones. So that's handy because you can change your mind this way. drop that into place. If you use your t your scissor tool, you can resize from here. Okay, but not if you're on a sticker. You have to be off the sticker to do this. And also, scissor tool, you, whoops, scissor tool, you can recolor from here the color of your text. Okay, so that's very handy too. Just remember that once you lay it down on top of a sticker, it's very hard to get it off. Matter of fact, you have to long press and move it in order to resize it over here. Once you drop it on the scissor, you cannot do this to resize. You will resize everything. So if you want to resize your text, long press till you get your box and you can resize from here or you can move it off your sticker and then you can use your lasso to resize and color. Okay? Very nice. That's it. Thank you for watching.